so welcome friends uh, my name is manigandan specialist in geography uh, today i am going to discuss about the cursed landforms that can be found over the globe you no know? uh, cursed in the sense limestone you no know? topography in the sense relief features that were formed over the globe due to the influence of the weathering and the erosion due to the impact of climatic interferences right so this topographical features how distributed all over the globe can be explained here right so uh, so when you when you come to the uh, global scale uh, these kind of landforms can be found over south east usa then uh, uh, coastal margin of mediterranean sea then a uh, indian region you no know, especially dehradun region of india or himalayan region of india uh, then we can uh, find such a topography in southern chhattisgarh basin you no know, and uh, some part of uh, china especially guangzhou region of china where these topographical features can be seen right so again uh, let me talk about the conditions favorable for genesis of such cursed land form uh, that can be found over the globe no um, so that land form <clears throat> uh, uh, would be uh, influenced by some of the preconditions in the sense no uh, if you take a limestone there are two types of limestone one type of limestone called hard limestone another type of limestone called soft limestone you no know, hard limestone would have derived from the accumulation of uh, the the detritus remains of coral reefs you no know. a uh, soft limestone that would have formed that would have formed through some chemical means that means uh, the uh, dissolved calcareous sediments that can be found in the sea water that would have precipitated to form a soft limestone soft limestone never paves the way for such cursed topography rather hard limestone which all which is always responsible for genesis of such a topographical features no so the, the conditions no let us uh, talk about the condition one among the conditions like uh, hard limes, uh, limestone nature of limestone and the thickness of the limestone no the, there should be no wherever such landforms could be noticed where no the limestone must be thick massive limestone that should be extended to large aerial extent no so and uh, these limestone topography must be found uh, no sub surface of earth uh, where the rain water should be accessed uh, no again the ground water table in that region must be found sufficiently greater depth uh, no uh, that means uh, ground water table must be found sufficiently great, greater depth than such a massive rock which is laid above it so that the water that penetrates or percolates into the limestone topography would have dripped and would have reached the ground water table where it would be distributed underground no so then only there would be the uh, uh, there would be uh, some feasibility no uh, for in the genesis of landforms could be noticed no again uh again uh, another thing you no know, so these topographical features must be found in the uh, in the wet region you no know, uh, where the precipitation must be uh, moderate to high precipitated region where uh, the limestone uh, topography would be formed you no know, these are all about the conditions you no know, there should be uh, massive rock formations you no know, uh, which must be found uh, sufficiently uh, shallow or depth where rain water should percolate through it you no know, rain water should access that topography then the ground water table must be found sufficiently greater depth you no know, so that 
that water cannot stagnate no rather water should percolate across the topography so as to form landform no then no we can talk about the sequential uh, stages of development of such landform like uh, no uh, first ever landform that can be found over globe no um, <clears throat> the first ever landform that is formed over limestone topography must be sinkholes no they, they are nothing but small holes uh, that are formed here and there in a random manner no because of dissolution of dead corals no limestone so so that uh, such a uh, holes would be formed again so when these holes uh, coils themselves no so as to become a uh, bigger and bigger hole called swallow hole no so this this much extend no the swallow hole can be found no <clears throat> no uh, swallow hole must be found and uh, no in consequent to swallow hole we can find uh, some dolines no they are they are broader holes uh, that would have formed because of coalescence of swallow holes one or two swallow holes merged it together so as to form a larger hole called doline no doline two, two or more doline squares themselves to form another larger hole called no volas no so the, no see see the volas the extent of volas no it is larger no so larger than dolines where the two or more dolines would have coalesced themselves no when two or more volas coalesce themselves to form Bulges, no, it is a large, broader valley that would have carved out over limestone topography, no, called bulges. No, when, when, uh, so th this is a way, no, some erosional features that can be found over limestone topography. No, when you come to depositional features, no, where the uh, limestone that would have undergone dissolution in the rainwater, so where the that dissolved water dripping down towards the groundwater table, so that the dripstone, you no, know, the sediments that uh, that is that is being added up with the uh, groundwater, so the, the dripping water. But that forms some precipitation either from the uh, roofs of the caves or from the bottom of the caves. No, anything uh, that, that a dripping stone that grows from up to down, then it is called stalactite. Anything that a dripping stone which grows from bottom to top, then it is called um, <clears throat> stalactite. No, somewhere these stalactite and stalactite may uh, merge together or uh, coalesce themselves to form a contiguous pillar. No, called pillars. No, it is a limestone pillar. So this is a way uh, stalactite, stalactite pillar. No, these uh, depositional features that can be found within caves. No. <clears throat> when you when you come to uh, this is about when you when you come to uh, the free, uh, uh, such a limestone features we can find you no know, underground underground water uh, that would have gone uh, as a subterranean drainage in the limestone region that region the where where the uh, drainages would be interrupted because of the existence of sinkholes where the water goes as a subterranean drainage to some extent that means the river valleys can be found at the top uh, and the underneath you can find stream flow no such valleys are called blind valleys no this is what called blind valleys where underneath which you can find the subterranean drainage somewhere no this blind valley may be perforated with some holes through which you can see the underground drainage called cursed windows no it is called cursed windows so this is a way we can find the cursed topographical features no if, uh, any limestone topography uh, you can find you no know, such a diversified features uh, anywhere in the world no uh, thank you uh,